All right. Oh, everything looks like it's falling apart, so that can only be a good thing. And I think we got our audio up and running. I think I can almost hear the levels. And next up, let's go ahead and do the video. Hey, there you go. All right. Hey, everyone. Welcome to the continuation of my attempt to build some Legos. And appropriately named, let's click together. <laughs> And today I'm finishing up this one here, which you can also see below. Uh, Lego 75952, which is the Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them set. Essentially the uh, suitcase of Needs Commander. Oh, and I did look up the character's names. Oh, actually I forgot to look up the, uh, the monsters, or the creature's names. But we do have our Jacob Kowalski, our Queenie Goldstein. Our Tina Goldstein and our new commander. I forgot the other ones. I, I should look at the names of the creatures, but mm, eventually. So, my goal this time is yes to finish. We've gone through book one <laughs> on the previous stream, so now we're trying to make our way through book two, which is finally bag number three and bag number four. So, without further, leave that there. Let's go ahead and get on with finishing this Lego build. To be honest, this is probably like my favorite one so far. This kind of like um, the gold bird that was in the movie that created the rain and people's forgetfulness, maybe. I think it's kind of cool. <laughs> Just the, uh, the posability of this one. Just the ball joints and the, uh, the talons. But I'm going to ask you to make a little bit of space. You too, Mr. Rhino blue snake thing in the teapot. Oh. A little niffler. We shall leave our main characters there so at least they can act as our mostly audience. So I have some space here. It's a little bit extra. But I want to try and make use of this little camera space that I have right there. But and apologies in advance if you're kind of hearing like a, uh, a rumbling or a humming noise. It's kind of warm <laughs> in the area that I'm living. And so uh, we are attempting to run the air conditioning to cool off. So if you see me kind of doing this and this and like grab a towel, it's me just uh, trying to stay alive as best I can. Okie doke. All right, we got our pieces. I want to avoid something from the previous stream, from part one, where I ended up losing a piece on the floor. Thought it was gone, and was about to cut the whole stream short until I found a piece on the floor. <laughs> All right. Bag number three, you're not messing around. Yeah, there are a lot of pieces there. Alright, 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 alright. Gonna have to move you a little bit more into the uh, the background there. Alright, so now we can get started. Fortunately, we're already done creating all our characters and all of our creatures, so now we're just going into the heavy duty, so we are building our suitcase. Okay. Mm So same strategy as from part one. I'm just gonna look at the book and just kind of find out exactly the pieces I need to grab, set them aside, and then proceed with the building. Some folks like to set them aside and coordinate by color, by pieces, yada yada. That's cool too. Um, but I found out that when I do it, I spend all that time organizing it and I still forget where I put the pieces, even if they are in nicely uh, similar colored sections. Alright, so we need two of these. Two of these. Let's make use, still make use of that space. Right for the camera. Okie doke. Alright. No mistakes here. Don't want to jinx it. Two 
two of these, two of these, and so let's go ahead and grab um, two of these flat-ish gray pieces here. It shows these that it's looking for these, but I think it's looking for a dark color according to the instructions. So, aha, I found it. Nope, I did not find it. This is a flat piece. So I'm gonna keep on looking. Unless they mean the darker brown piece. Yeah. I will not rest until I can find a piece. It definitely looks dark gray. On the instruction manual. Or is it this light brown piece? Am I colorblind? That is a possibility. But while I'm looking for those and failing miserably at it, I will continue forward. Aha! 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 Gray. Different color gray. That means there's a second one. <laughs> uh -huh, gotcha. Alright. Alright, let's have the fun. Alright, so I take this. I'm gone. And I'm always looking for our the next satisfying click. That amazing snap. Let you know that it's not gonna fall out anytime soon unless you bite so we're now putting this followed by that all right we need one of these followed by one of these followed by i cannot see the reflection of the light two of these all right Exactly as the instructions prescribed. All right. Unfortunately, if you're here looking for anything beyond just a chill yet very potentially boring stream of a person building some Legos. Uh, that's pretty much my goal for this whole build and subsequent future builds to be honest. Um, I got quite a few and so I do still love playing those those video games. I am definitely due for some good old-fashioned Lego builds. Another one of my passions. All right, definitely looks like a briefcase now. Mm, definitely. Okay. So many of these dark brown, light brown, semi-tan brown pieces. Okay, I need I need a second one of this kind of kind. Good, because there's actually quite a few. So this will go there, followed by this will go there. <laughs> I need two of these. Look at this. This one's fancy. It's kind of like, uh, cannot focus, but a little bit glittery. All right. I need two of these. I don't know if that can be seen. It looks like a claw or a fingernail. A sharp fingernail. And I will need two of these cool little grass thingies. Perfect for a magical creature habitat.
I do kind of like the color selection. I'm so used to building like Star Wars Legos throughout and it's so much, instead of all the browns, there's so much grays and darks and so I like even building, you know, a lot of the Empire style, which I'm going to be building pretty soon too. But in Star Wars, you know, there's a lot of grays, a lot of blacks. Maybe get a light, uh, a bright green um, blaster <laughs> or a missile. <laughs> but that's about it. So, change of color. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay, these two and three, perfect. All right, snap. Ah, almost a good snap. Looks like like a five out of ten snap. Yesterday, you got some pretty good eight, even a nine out of ten snap. Okay, yeah, this big guy here. Two of the single pieces, same color. Damn, alright. Secret pin red part. Secret forever now. Okay. Total briefcase. Total briefcase. All right, four. Nope, four. Yeah, one, two, three, four. That was a good snap. That was a solid seven. All right. Two of the kind of corner pieces. Aha. Uh -huh. One. And part of the fun. Aha. Uh -huh. Two. Just another. No. One and two. These will form kind of very nice symmetrical piece. Two of uh, two by two squares. Down there. Followed by up there. Let's see. Um, Two of the slopes, two of the slopes. We got that there. Camera focus mm, working against me. I wish I can fix the kind of blurriness. That's something I can try and tweak. It's just like a, a regular camera. So it's trying to focus. It's trying to seem the hardest to focus. <laughs> so, and then I need a single one by two. By two and with the darker brown. Aha! Gotcha. One and two. Perfect. So that will go here. That will go here. Or that's the way I wanted it to go, but it's not the way it's supposed to go. So let's go ahead and pop those out. So it's dead. There you go. You can't really tell because the camera and the, the color definitely um, disagrees with the camera and the light. Mm 
So there you go. All right. Next up, one of these, and then two of the pieces we've used previously here, and. Brush. Let's leave that there. Um, and a faucet. Yeah, I'll leave that there too. <laughs> I need a second one of these. It's hiding. It's staring right at me. It's got nowhere else to hide. There you go. Alright. So we shall connect those there. And this looks like it goes right smack dab in the middle. Alright. That is a solid piece of construction of what will be a creature menagerie. So now I need four of these shiny. Nuggets. Okay. And those will hide over here. Right there. And right there. One, two of that. One of that. And one of this. Yeah, it's starting to look familiar. Okay, one. That goes there. And then the other piece slides right through here. And the other piece is the opposite right through here. So, very almost Lego boomerang-ish. Or is he? Okay. Very brief, brief case appropriate. Ah, uh, it's asking for the same. Right here, another one of these, and one of these. Not too bad. I'm all for consistency and redundancy. There we go. We are connected. Making these progress on that on this book. You know, each step is like connect two pieces. Okay, we got we need four of these little guys here. Can't let you get away yet. Two of these. Uh -huh, got lucky. And two of these. Mm. There we go. Ha! So now that the pool of pieces are dwindling, it makes it a little bit easier for me to find <laughs> the pieces I'm looking for. Okay, so we're going to build this. It's going to ask us to build two of them. And they connect on the inside. Oops. Camera. Camera. Like that. Very briefcase like. <laughs> no idea what I'm saying. Okay. Alright. Alright. Next up. Four. Mm, six. I need these. Four of these. So it kind of bums me out that I messed up on that right now. Um, from part one yesterday's. So 
for that rhino now how it kind of has a lighter gray birthmark <laughs> on one of its on one of its legs since I switched out the darker gray with one of the lighter grays by accident <laughs> all right ooh that's a six okay connect connect and connect and we are asked to make two of those. Boom. 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 And boom. Okay. pieces of these, two of these, and also two of these, and they clear the right next to each other, and one of these. So by the looks of it, it's asking for it right here, followed by here, with here, and here, here, ta-da, and then finally, Potentially the hinge for said briefcase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two of these. Is that a hatchet? Two of those. And two of those as well. And two of those as well. Okay. Yeah, we are building quite the habitat for this fantastical creature. Okay, that goes in there. Which then this kind of holds in here. Okay, alright, alright, it's looking good. I'm hoping by the time this is like built, you can put each of the creatures inside this briefcase and not have to like, ah, oh, well, it looks nice, but they all won't fit. <laughs> oh, now I put the fancier stuff. We need our glitter one, which was right here, a blue gem in here, a green gem, which I found here, and a yellow thingy. A yellow glittery thing. Okay. So. Okay, so that will connect to. Or, oh, I better make sure I get it right and not just fling it into the air. Right there. And then the yellow and the green gem will connect like that. Maybe they're just fantastical flowers. Magical flowers. In my bad lighting, it doesn't sparkle, but I'm pretty sure it does. There you go. Sparkle, sparkle. Alright. One flat of these. Two more of those pieces that always had trouble. Aha! They're right next to each other. Even better. Um, and then there are these shiny gold pieces. There you are. On top. There's another one on top. And then that goes on top. And then this whole thing goes on top. Man, maybe this is a, maybe this is like Newt's like kind of workbench. It's like his kind of like 
and he goes down the stairs and he has all like his tool bench and stuff in here and like so maybe it's more for Newt and not for one of the creatures okay let's make a window two of these and two of the window panes so we got one and I see the other one there's one right there and one right there okay. aha looks nice <laughs> that was a nice click though it wasn't a snap but it was a click <laughs> To equally yet satisfying sound effects when creating your Legos. Boom. Fancy. Got the windows. Okay. Two of these. Alright. And it's sticker time. You know, we all know what that means. I just gonna mess this up. Okay. Now. The ultimate precision. <laughs> or not. Definitely not. Alright. Alright, alright. No more messing around here. Kind of center. I don't really know. It's like putting on the hardest phone screen cover. Hmm. I can live with that. So the other piece. Let's try. Two for two. Two for two. Kind of center. Not really center. Just enough sides. And slide on the bottom. Terrible. That came out terrible. But I'm going to live with that as well. <laughs> boom. And then boom. All right. We have our walkway and doors or something. To Newt's office, or at least his works, his workspace. Two of these, followed by one of the, no two of these, which I shall need to locate. The other one. Aha. Mm, nope. Aha. Mm, nope. I take back what I said about now that we're running low on the pieces, it makes it easier to find it. I immediately regret saying that because now I'm trying to find the piece. But outside of that, we do need two of these. And a well time sneeze. Oh, now I need another one of these. That's it. Can't seem. Aha. 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 Alright, well, I found this one. I'm telling you, this is part of the fun. <laughs> okay, here you go. I gotta admit though, I am very impressed with just the um, the solid buildingness of all of these pieces. You know, just it's just gotta hand it to like Lego. Like it builds it to reinforce it, and then this goes here and it closes out any kind of like 
studs. Let me put this one here so it's all on the same kind of level. When you start building a ton of these, you start to notice just the uh, uh, the really good craftsmanship. I mean, you just kind of admire the um, I don't know. You just kind of admire all the uh, the detail they try to make it look as. I know it's all a toy and everything, but just the the believability that you know that toyistical representation of what they wanted to do <laughs> or what they're trying to design to build you know okay all right we're actually good on that page so i shall need one of these and a piece i haven't seen in a while one of these these wider slopes so i am now looking at the other side of this window that picture okay I'm just gonna yeah I'll accept that <laughs> kind of odd the angle if it is the right angle all right you know I'm gonna tear it apart mm. I guess I guess I think that's the that's my interpretation of the instruction manual. Yeah, it looks about right. <laughs> Close enough, right? So rinse and repeat on the other side. Gladly. So one. Yeah, well, can't even see because the lighting. Mm, there we go. <laughs> and there you go. Sturdiness. Sturdiness. Okay. Yeah. And at least for some reason this picture look more detailed than the last one, even though they look like just mirrored versions of each other. Alright, we're gonna need a ladder. Two pieces of grass. Oh yeah, so I guess so it was a it was definitely um needs a little workshop when he goes down into the suplex. Alright, so it's just adding to the vegetation. Mm -hmm. There you go. No longer hinge, but just a means to traverse into the suitcase. This, this goes down. I need two of these. Followed by four of these. Oh, the camera's struggling to focus. Sorry, camera. And two of these. Followed by dark brown. Okay. Followed by this to be connected there. Followed by this to be connected there. Followed by another one of these to be connected there. Simple enough for everything symmetrical. That to that to there to there. Ta da! <laughs> Page 28. I think this book too is thicker than the book. Alright. Here we go. Mm, two of these. Four of these. So let's keep going. Two, three and four. Two more of the smooth 
smooth ones, one of the white smooth ones, this bad boy here, three of these guys. Alright, now that's it. Now that's set up. Okay, so let's get to this. And just asking it to connect here, followed by here, which then succeeded by here, and followed up by here. Which is then I knew I needed some other pieces. Actually, I did. I just forgot to get them. I needed two of these squares. Two of these squares as well. So, I got two of these squares. Two of the squares. Followed by the flat piece. On top, which is, goes right there. Locking it down. Followed by the third or the first of those, flipping it over. Now, the remaining three gets connected, followed by, aha, uh -huh. what? A two and a three. There we go. Totally something. I feel I'm gonna make a second one of these. I am gonna make a second one of these. So this is now ready to be connected right here. Boom. Closed. Now, great deal. So, boom, one of these, and one of these, and mm, yeah, the pieces are dwindling. One, two, one of these only. Not four. Ooh. So, and then I still need two of the squares, which are conveniently still right next to each other. Two of the squares, two of the smooths, uh, which are still conveniently right next to each other. Haha. -ha. Smooths, one. Um, two of these. And I think. That might be enough. That might be enough. Okay. And there. And there. Okay, that was a little bit quicker than the other one. We have to put all the, I have to put all these things here. Which they weren't even anymore there. Oh. So like that. So it's asking me to close that, and then close that. Ooh, very compact. Very compact. <laughs> Oh, all right. At least we're done with that. Looks like we're done with that corner. So, our first part of the briefcase is done. I'll then place it there in a mild place spot. So, we're now going to build a little rocky area. That makes sense. 
I think, but it has a brush and a sink in it, so it's not a rocky area. <laughs> One of these, and um, one of these, dustly, and one of these, which will go right there, right there. Then a longer one of these. I'm hoping. Hoping I got the right one. There you go. Our handy dandy triangle thingy. We'll connect here. Alright. Got a good shape going. Here, here. There and there. Okay. <laughs> Pieces acquired. So this guy will go there, and you shall go here. This is meant to go there and there to that. All right. This little L arrow looking one. Oh, that's actually named. And one of those, okay. So that is going to go there, and this one is going to hook right around the corner to kind of flush that one out. Okay, a one by four, and one of our long ones, like this, and one of these. Ooh, okay, okay. Looks like we're making this one just a little bit extra thicker. Er. That was a pretty good 4.5. Oh, snap. Ooh, that was a good one, too. Kind of struggled. 6.8. Good, feeling good. Our supply is still dwindling, which is always a good sign too. Meaning we're not forgetting too many pieces. Okay, so we're gonna connect here to here. Just to see what the heck. Okay. It looks like it's asking to be connected right there at the edge. Followed by the light brown piece to be right there. And this one to flush out a little bit higher. Sure. So these are, looks like little flowers. So brown flower thingies. So this one right there and one Right there. Ta-da! Ooh, dark green. Hey, these guys. Hmm. Sorry, we're strong, but they're nice dark green. Go right there. And I got this one. And <laughs> another. This is one of this ones, and this one, and. Old fashioned square, two by two square. So, you know, I'm going to go right next to that dark green. And this, unfortunately, is now covering up the dark green. And this will now further cover up the dark green almost completely. Just kind of buzz me out. Green is my favorite color. Alright, so I need three of these now. I'll buy one of these. Okay. 
Duke. Okay. Oh, so far, so good. It feels dang sturdy, too, to be honest. Dang sturdy. brown one here and with these guys so this I like it though it's kind of like fleshing out all the pieces so just kind of like that picture I was showing earlier at the very edge right there take one of these make it sturdy connecting all three of them together so we only need one of these one of these I'm sorry two of these and one of these ooh this is kind of like a, a feeding thing a feeding bowl Maybe a bath, a bathtub, a bathtub, a sink, because that's where the sink was. <laughs> it's kind of cool. I kind of like that. Putting those two halves together. I'll get up here, and I need three of these. And they're hiding. Ever so fiendishly. Okay, so one, two, man these feel really sharp, even though they just, they don't feel that much different from other Lego pieces, pretty sharp. one of these so is this is where the brush went I think this is where the brush went alright one of these darker one of those and a sloop alright what's left of the bag three making some good progress coming down to the wire now which looks just like the um a couple more of the pieces and then just the uh, thing the extras that usually come in these bags okay so it looks like we're just flashing this one out a little bit more I'm gonna snap that Ooh, nice and this into there very sturdy look at that Of these, simple enough for those, and one of these. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Nope, almost got caught. I needed one there. Two of these. Okay. Hmm. And one of these. So, so just, okay, so I'm gonna throw these on top of them. They are tiny. Okay. I'm hoping it probably connects to, you know, this kind of double hinge there. Connects to the rest of the uh, briefcase. Or maybe connects. <gasps> connects to the 
so there. All right, we are now ready for our sink. I'm just gonna just throw that on there because it's just cool. There's our little sink. Check that out. Turn on the faucets with our little sink. <laughs> our faucet. <laughs> and then two more of these. Because why the heck not? black one connects to that one. The other glossy block connects to that one. We got the two. Mm. Hinge gets this one. Or the corner. And there you go. Very smooth. Very glossy smooth. Two of these. So let's see. Where are you supposed to go? Uh huh. have anything to do with the creatures themselves? Intrigued, officially. Okay, check this. Hey, okay, we're making progress, almost done with bag number three. And now at that point, it'll be the final, final stretch. Aha, I was right. So, now for our AR muggle. Uh, uh, that's bad, I can't, it's hard to see. Autofocus. Our muggle worthy uh, muggle worthy there we go <laughs> briefcase belt lock buckle thing oh and it's circular so can't even you know, line it up make sure it's actually attempting to be straight and this I will definitely definitely mess up no doubt can I live with it? No, I can't. I can't. I'm going. I'm doing it again. <laughs> All right. Quiet. Patience. Okay, let's look. Okay. Slightly lopsided. <sighs> but I'll live with it. <laughs> okay. All right, now for our accessories. We got a brush, a turkey leg, and a hatchet. That is very appropriate. So then our hatchet will go here because our brush will go here. Makes sense. And in the corner of this, the turkey leg just hangs out in the sink or the turkey leg holder. Why not? I knew it. And our piece, well now, we'll take our original um, Newt's workshop thingy. That will connect here. Boom. The turkey leg. And from there, it shall close. Aha! So far, so good. Oh, my turkey leg. So far, 
suck it. Very playset friendly. So for now, for now I'll hang the turkey leg. Although it doesn't look as delicious because now it's on the other side with the peg sticking out. You can see it, but less chance of it falling. Oh, dang. I'm going right into bag four, but I have so many pieces. I don't like that. I don't have so many of these pieces. It looks complete. Right, I hope. It looks complete. But look at all these. I mean, from the outside, it looks like I wasn't missing anything. I could be 100% wrong. But where do I use all these pieces now? All these pieces. These, a lot of these look like they belong somewhere. I don't even think I ever used this piece. So I am going to keep it there in the hopes. The hopes <laughs> that it's going to be utilized somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> I hope, man. I really do. I'm all bummed out if I, all of a sudden these things aren't connecting. It's very unlikely to have this many like major kind of heavy pieces. Maybe an extra piece of grass. That, you know, that I can understand. These little guys. Even an extra like, uh, what do I call these? This is kind of like fake gems. But like this? No, man. Bag four, I hope you look for those. I hope you put those to good use. I will be very confused. Okay. Alright. This is fine. Or it's all coming in. Bag four. I'm gonna slide these bag three pieces over here for now. I'm also gonna put this over here for some more space. I'll probably try to utilize this one for the build also. And use this part that you don't see to hold the pieces. So I can utilize this piece more for the building. A lot of, a lot of mini pieces, a lot of tiny pieces that shall get lost. Okay, there you go. And don't worry, I will clean that up later. I hope. Mm, another shower of little pieces. Ooh, what is this? Is that an egg? Yeah, I, little egg. Cool. Alright. Final stretch. You know, let's put the egg to the side. Alright. You know what? This first page. This first page is asking for one of the extra pieces I got from bag three. I am using that extra piece from bag three. You are being used, bud. <laughs> oh no, it's the wrong piece. It won't work. It's the opposite piece. Sorry. You tricked me. It was this piece that had the studs on the top and not this piece which had the studs on the bottom okay longer one with this guy here so far okay so far everything's still running checking on the stream hmm oh yeah it just goes right on top I thought they were side by side Okay. And there. 
Okay, looks like I need another one. But it, nope, wrong one. This one. A darker shade for the same size. I hope when I close the briefcase all together, those extra missing pieces over here. I'll be like, oh, you should have put all those. What were we thinking? Okay, so I need, uh, excuse me, plethora of smaller pieces. Get one of these, and dang, I mean, I giant wafer looking things. This thing. So put those inside. Ooh, look at this. Um. And a triangle thingy buried down here. And the other plethora. Ugh. There you go. Hey, okay, the mix. It's fancy. I'll put that one over there too. Okay, so I got this one. piece will then connect right here. Yep. Looking good. And here. And Alright. I think this is a piece. Uh-huh. I will no. I was hoping to use a leftover one. Fine. It's the other one again. This one. One, one, and one. Of course, these kind of these blended color kind of brown pieces. They all shucks. There you go. There you go. And that one is meant to go there. And this one. Ooh. Okay. And now. One of the old long ones. Now one of this one. Cool. And still cool. Oh, still cool. I'll buy a green. And this one and two of the squares. This something. It's the other corner of the rear case. <laughs> That's all I can say. Two of these. Um, two of these. Of the plethora of smaller ones. And then, um, three of... Oof. There you go. Okay. If I can find one. Well, if I can find one, that means the others are hiding. Like legit hiding. Ooh. Some of these like tiny little small circle thingies. It's a bunch. There you go. Two, two, three. And so, outside of the green, we got this one. On the other side of that, we got this one and an orange. And then, yeah, I was missing a piece here. I am missing a piece there. Aha! Previous page. Okay, into there. And there. 
Okay. Now. Huh. One of these. One of these. Two of these. And one of these. So far so good. Yeah. Okay, so I'm on this side. Man, it is pretty intricate on <laughs> what it's trying to build here. I wonder if we're like the Lego designers. They're still trying to figure out, you know what? We've got a warehouse for these little kind of equidistant L's or 7's. Make sure you use a lot of them. <laughs> there's too much of this in, in the inventory. Great. And oh, I saw you somewhere right here too. Another one of those small silver ones. But in the meantime, I'll get your friend here. And one of these. And a single green. I know I saw one too. Ha! Huh. Put that there, cause it's cool. It looks fancy. Okay. Okay. So the green. Connects to the bottom. That one. For every good reason. Circular whole ones. <laughs> I don't even know how to describe that one. Alright. Okay, making progress. Making progress. These two pieces here, plus connect to there. Okay, one of these. Oops, one of those. And here. Mm, okay, perfect. Found them in near record time. And I make sure I'm actually make, still making use of the uh, the Lego piece camp. Thank you. Nice. All right. Got all those in place. Um, not that one. But the smaller one. Here, this shall make it extra sturdy because it's sturdy. All right, an orange, two slopes, okay. All right, and the circle round circle thing with the orange dot silver slope because silver slope mm, and my two smaller brown slopes covered up this beautiful dark green piece again was me out I am kind of enjoying how um, it's looking, you know. <laughs> Just excited once I connect it to the other piece. Three of the shinies. Two of the one by two pieces. Not this one. Yep. 
of this one. Okay. Boom. Boom. On the bright side, this is kind of cool. Got them all connected. I got my two pieces here. I need two of these. Let's go ahead and scour. And one, perfect. <laughs> I am happy I'm actually just finding these pieces in a decent amount of time and I'm like going crazy. Like, ah, oh, there's so much of the same colored pieces. I'll never find it. But I think that was my um, strategy going forward. I would spend more time trying to organize them and still waste time looking for them after they're organized than when I just. Throw them all in a big pile. I'll find them anyway. Maybe even sometimes quicker. Okay, three of the shinies. Because maybe that's true. I didn't really do any research into it. But, but if, you know, if you're looking for the kind of like bright shiny gold piece and it's just sticking out within like a bunch of the, um, you know, the matte black or the glossy black pieces. Rather than a bunch of glossy black pieces and a bunch of shiny gold pieces, they all look the same. Okay. Got our little gold thing there and a little gold secret gold nugget over there. I forgot what they're called in Harry Potter. Galleons? Galleons? Maybe. Two of these and one of those and one of those and one of those. Okay. Hooray, we got a green piece. Green piece. Hanging out. Seems to be covered. <laughs> no doubt. Ooh, I like that. That huge long piece. And this one goes all the way here, and then finally one piece like that. I think I get to use my round, funky brown things. I 
Where the heck does this connect to? Oh, okay. All right, all right. I see what you did there. Set this right into there. Because, you know, Harry Potter. Right into there. Can't really tell, but. <laughs> Okay. Got one and two of the long pieces. I need one more of these guys. This one right here. Oh, sticker time. Time to put the old Newt Scamander initials. Let's hope this one turns out a little bit better than the old Muggle worthy uh, buckle. Oh man, it's even harder. Look how wide this thing is, and look how narrow or thin the sticker is. Gosh. No. No. Uh, uh, worse. Horrible. Retry. Oh, it is very bad. Hold on, hold on. Okay, now that I saw the mistake I made. No, slightly better equipped for the second turn. Second time. Okay, we're gonna be closer to the edge, to this first edge. And still make it nice and even from the top to bottom. Give it that bit of forehead chin. Nope. Worse. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Press. Hey, not bad. Somewhat even. Somewhat. Oh, focus. Somewhat even. <laughs> Okay. So far, my favorite little green piece here, spared. But this isn't a good sign when I'm adding all these extra top layers. Okay, we're only one sticker left. Ooh, I'm gonna make a little bucket. A bucket, a sloop, and a flower. So let's go ahead and put our flower first. You go right there. We'll make our now creature friendly bucket. This other guy. Eek. This little one there. Now I go right. There and our slope for slopey reasons. We got it. Okay. Two of the little buttons. This thing here. We're gonna get our egg ready. So it must have just been the egg nest. Cool. And this one. So we're gonna get our piece. Gonna do two of the buttons. Sorry, camera. Two of the little buttons here. Followed by, I guess that piece, I needed it. Right there. Hmm. <laughs> okay, alright. Let me see if I can still. Oh no, it's pretty solid. Hold on. I need to put that. Let me put the egg. I need to put the nest first. And then the stud on top of the egg. Or the stud on top of the nest. Yikes. Okay.
a little bit more gymnastery than I needed. But got it. And in the nest. Perfect. Oh, there you go. Sloop for the egg. Perfect. Look at that. You can see that. You can also see it on right there. But it was better down here. <laughs> Alright, so far so good. Okay, one of these, one of these, and another one of my little green buds. Oh, that's a green slope. There you go. That will go right. Oops. Bumping you again. Okay, at least it covered my green piece. I got two extra in exchange. That will also seem to be covered. No doubt. Two of these pieces. I'll just connect it right now anyway. And then two more green pieces. Now, oh, those do not get put on top of each other. I'll be here. Just move the book a little bit closer. It's here. Yes. Okay. Green slope. Mmm. Shiny. And one by two. Okay. Where does shiny go? Oh, shiny one here. And bam. Building it up. Building it out. As she goes. Okay, one. Mm, I need a longer one. There you go. Two of these. Perfect. Okay. There we go. So, oops, we got our piece there. So, this will go here. This will go there. Ooh, 7.0 click. There you go. Two of these next. Give a little bit of nice full texture for this. <laughs> for this Lego briefcase. Okay. One too. So, one of these, um, a single square, and a longer smooth flat piece. These are going to be finishing up this one here. So, I'll leave the single followed by the shorter. Uh, this is okay. 5.4 and the longer one. Shiny there, one there, alright. Working our way back to the buckles. The old buckles. This looks like the bottom of like the briefcase. It's all like when you put on the floor for a real briefcase. It doesn't get all scuffed. But that's the only part that gets scuffed. Two of those. Two. Mm. Aha. Uh -huh. Of those. Two. Uh, of those. And two of these. Still get to use those extra pieces. A bummer. <laughs> and I hope it doesn't come to like haunt me near the end. This one here. 
Mm -hmm. It is thorough. All these pieces just makes a really nice looking buckle type of thing. Which will now connect to this end piece. Oh no! Oh no! My egg! My egg fell off. It's always felt kind of like sketchy. Kind of like get that. Oh! No piece to fit right perfectly there. I've never seen the this little like molded piece for the um, eggs nest. <gasps> that was just flew everywhere. Otherwise, we probably would not have an egg anymore. I am trying to connect it. I mean, like trying. I'm really trying. Or at least getting it fastened in. I mean, it looks more comfortable like this. So. Or less resistant. So. I'm not gonna fight it. That looks good enough to me. Alright, so we got our buckle. Ooh. We're now ready to connect. Another piece Ta -da. and two. Ta -da. If I push it in, it all smashes together, it falls apart. Ooh, that's a nice click. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, even right here, we notice this cool little part. Kind of like closes in, so it has that little kinch here on this side. Oh, I can't really position the camera correctly. It has a little grabber. So just for that added effect, when you close it, ha! It is fastened. Very distinguished. Once we get the top part, very nice, and the creatures will not <laughs> will not fit in here but let's see if we can reopen this without destroying it perfect very cool though look at that and open this open up there this is where Newt, Jacob, Tina, Queenie descend down these stairs or at least the ladder with the workshop play with all the magical creatures close up shop bam that's connected yep so far so good still not used any of these pieces though freaking bummer you ask me right, let's go ahead and Put that beef cake there because I need the space for this to be the final piece now. The final steps. Which is the top part of the briefcase to complete the illusion. So we got one, we got two, and Plates. All right. Okay, we're flipping this one over, making it, as they say, super sturdy. Or at least as I say, super sturdy. Mm, nope. I pushed that piece in too early. And it belonged to go, oops, 
right there. On the fourth bubble. One, two, three, bubble number four. And let's go and match that one right now. And this one I have a guide because it's right against the edge. Same for this. Okay. One and two and one. Flip this one over again. Okay. So we'll have two free there. Followed by the long one. And then two free on the other side. Perfectly symmetrical. So I need one, two, three, and four, followed by one of the darker shade. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Whoever had done the instruction manuals for this one, because like you can tell, I wish they put like decent separators on there, because they all, you know, in a bad light, they all look like just flat almost. <laughs> I wish they just did like what they do for them, the glossy black pieces. Which are they put like a I don't know like a like a white thin dividing line so you can go, so you can say oh okay that's where the new pieces are supposed to go okay another piece um, a flat one and two of the slopes. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. Um, and this looks like it lines up right at the edge. So I'll proceed to push that one down. Like that, and a smooth piece. Ta-da! Dang, all the creatures on the side there are waiting for me to finish. I'm sorry, you won't be able to fit. You'll be able to play outside of it. I was hoping y'all could fit inside this thing. Okay. Gosh. Those pieces are all blending. One of these, one of these, one of these, and two of these. Okay, so that's for this. Put this closer here. I got this one. Connects into here. Ooh, that's a nice clip too. <laughs> and then take this piece, flipping it into there. Followed by this piece into here. And the other piece into here. And that will connect to here. Ah. Ah. Appropriate. Do on that side it should totally do on the other side. One here, one here, and I need an extra one of these where we may be hiding, which is right there. Oh. 
Alright. Boom. It's not that many pieces left from back four. Super cool. Super close. Aha. Uh -huh. Adding a little bit of sturdiness. Sturdiness on sturdiness. Trying to make this briefcase look a little bit more professional. Alright, that looks good too. I need four. So let's go and grab the other two and two extra shinies. So I don't forget those because I probably will. And turn the page. extra pieces again too by the looks of it two of these two of these these all can't see it from the camera but these all look like they're all extra pieces too miss me because I don't know what the heck this is maybe those pieces are used to like build out the build out the suitcase even more I don't know man very interested to, to know if there's like an extra book <laughs> to make use of all these extra pieces and make use of all these extra pieces could also be Lego just wanted to bump up the piece count and thus charge a little bit extra <laughs> I'm just kidding yeah look at that and now oh yes last page or almost last page last couple steps so let us move our extras let us close this briefcase in the most coolest way I realized I didn't even use the last sticker so I know I'm definitely missing something or maybe I skipped like four or five pages say so I didn't even use the last sticker so there's something maybe maybe there's one more build outside of the whole briefcase thing so this will go right and then and then bam now oh, for the final touch closed perfectly closed look at that very cool right not only that, because it's kind of a bummer. It's another build. But very cool. Look at that. Very sturdy. There's a little hole, but I don't know about Maybe it's for a key or something. It even has like cool little fake buckles that pretend like you're opening. Like that. Like chuk chuk. And the key. There's a little handle. And then open it up oh that's kind of cool so they left a little bit of a lip right there so you can still kind of like use your fingers pop it open you open right there Newton friends gotta get in you pop the, you pop the ladder 
And then you can kind of like push this one out, open it up for everyone to enjoy. So let me see if I can get this one to a decent frame. And so yeah, cool. Egg. Um, sink. Um, workshop. <laughs> Oh, perfect. Okay. It has a reason for all those extra pieces. <laughs> so, let us now reclose this. Close the lock. Close that. Very cool, so. Very cool. I'm going to need these two pieces. Complete the look. One and two. Oh, that's probably just going to finish these kind of corner buckles. That was like a five, maybe a four. Kind of a snap. Okay, all right, all right. Looking good. Tell you what, man, even building this, I say this is about an hour and 45 minutes. A well spent. <laughs> no, truly, it is. I, I had an awful lot of fun building this one over the course of a two sessions. Okay, we got all four pieces at the bottom. Got all these cool little corners. Any last pieces for extras? No. Nothing. What am I gonna do with all these? But cool. There you go. There's the last page. Technically with all the creatures and everybody having some fun. Okay, let me see. Did I miss anything else? Nope. Um, I just want you to take pictures. Take pictures. Buy more Legos. Buy more Legos. And that's it. These pieces confuse me. <laughs> These extra pieces confuse me quite a bit. But, hey, I want to say I actually had a whole lot of fun building this guy. Building even this one, because I like how it's like compact, kind of opens up into a playset. And even more so, I kind of forgot what the retail price was. It probably was pretty high anyway. But um, this was the only, from the, uh, you know, Fantastic Beasts um, set that I got. But, you know, it comes with the four minifigs. Pretty much the main cast. All but, you know, I forgot who the villain was. And it has the cool kind of griffin guy here. Oh, yeah. Posable in attack ready poses <laughs> and we had our cute little niffler dude hanging out might as well just me we can put him on top of the teacup oh, nope maybe we can hang out on someone's hand nope wait 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 i got an idea i got all these extra pieces anyway put this one on top of him so he's sitting on Say it's a gold coin. All right, there you go, Queenie. You're now babysitting in the flirt. We got this one. It's cool. Actually, this is pretty cool and posable as well too. Mr. Rhino, which I did not enjoy at first glance because he looks so sad with those eyes. I kind of like the Rhino there. He's got a cool little shiny or glowing head. Even the pose posability is kind of fun to sound too. Just reminds me of like the old um, AT-AT Star Wars. 
and there's this extra birth mark because I could figure out where I put the wrong colored piece <laughs> somewhere else. But no, all right, well that's just about it. You know, that's everything built on this Lego number seven, five, nine, five, two. Deeply enjoyed it, except for the abnormal amount of extra pieces. I do highly recommend it if it still can be found. I bought this a ways ago, which is why I'm trying to build it now and not uh, forget it somewhere in a closet or, you know, picking up dust. I gotta figure out where this last sticker was, too. Maybe this is all like weird stuff. But, um, heck, this was a lot of fun. It was even fun just kind of putting this stuff um, on stream and recording it. Well, besides that, I'll probably start on another build. It might be Star Wars related. It might even be the, the Super Mario one that I got recently. But without further ado, I did want to say thank you for letting this happen and allowing me to stream, record, and build in the most laziest way possible in front of everyone. Cool. Well, other than that, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you during the next stream. Build games and everything else in between. Bye. <laughs> okay. And the mouse is there. Bye.